natural theology, generic theism, is like saying religion is true, right? It's really a meaningless phrase because when the Muslim says religion is true, when you ask him what he means, right, it's not Christianity. He doesn't think that the Christian is practicing true religion. Right? Are you listening? Yeah. I, I think, yeah, exactly. He's spot on with the... Okay. And that's that's why he got to the non-substitutivity of identicals, uh, right? That even if a person thinks that, oh, well, we both have the same end goal, right? We're both intending the same referent. We're, we're both, if even if we're picking out the same thing, it still isn't going to work. Because, for example, imagine I said that I, be, I believe that there's buried treasure in, in the promised land. And... Uh, I find another friend. Oh, yes, I believe that there's buried treasure in the promised land, too. And so we both have the same belief. And we both have read, uh, you know, about what, how to go find treasure. We, we both have ideas. And I say to my friend, how are you going to go about getting the, uh, the treasure buried in the promised land? And he says, well, uh, let me tell you, I'm going to uh, b book a flight right now. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to, when I get to Israel, I'm going to, you know, buy a plot of land where I think it is. And we've got a team and we're going to excavate. And, and I said, whoa, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I, I'm going to promised land, which is a Christian bookstore down the road from me. And I know the owner's granddad and he buried his, uh, you know, stolen bank money underneath the basement in a vault. So we both had the same belief. We both had the same words, totally different referent and totally different ways of what was in our head, right? About getting to the end result there. So the fact that we have similar, even phrases and particular names, right? Promised land in this case was at least intended to pick out a specific uh, referent. It's, it was intended to be even a rigid designator. When we actually look at this example, we see that it was two totally different intentions and two totally different mutually exclusive, right, end results, goals, things that we were trying to do. Even though on the surface, they appear to be, oh, we're both going to go get the buried treasure in the promised land. So and point you being, can even have a, a common, quote unquote, list of properties. Um, it's a place that where there's a, a, a lot of rich history about christianity um it's uh religious people hang out there they go to a pill hang out yeah, they, they make big journeys to get there <laughs> right um they even take charitable donations right um but it ends up you're not hitting the referent yeah, yeah it's like important. it's like the word cat okay i mean what is cat picking out Cat is not necessarily picking out that cat, right? When it's that cat, right? Spot. I know Spot's a dog name, but. So in other words, the word God is no different than the word cat, right? In the sense that it's mm -hmm. just picking out one of a class of different things that when you stepped away, we were looking at the biblical examples of God and the word, you know, refers to demons. It refers to idols. It refers to angels. It refers to Yahweh. And even humans are called God will make you a God to Pharaoh. So the word yeah. again is, as you said, non-rigid, flaccid designator. Uh, and so how do we know what it's picking out then? That's precisely where the system is what gives the content, the conceptual content to the word God, what we are picking out. Oh, I am picking out as an Orthodox Christian what's in the creed. And the professor in the, in the paper will even say, when Christians say the word God, they mean the Nicene Creed, Trinity. When Muslims say the word God, they mean the Shahada, right? That Allah is the perfect, you know, soul, unity, whatever. The fact that natural theology's attempt to disprove or to dispense with revelation is precisely what brings about the failure. That he was and he was critiquing Aquinas's arguments and these cosmological arguments. He's like, that doesn't follow. 
Yeah, exactly. And, and, and the, the same argument, even though we're not right at this point talking about the, the causation and cosmological argument, the same fallacy is being identified in the claim that uh, all three religions believe in monotheism, therefore they believe in the same God. For example, Ahmed believes that there is one and only one. He, so he's taking uh, additional counterexamples. This one's from mathematics. Ahmed believes that there's only one and only one solution to the, the mathematics problem. Isaac believes that there's only one. And... Notice that there, there's like a, an Islamic name, a Jewish name, and a Christian name. <laughs> he actually put in here like three names of the three religions, which is kind yeah, of Yeah, right. Isaac believes that there's one and only one solution to the problem. John believes there's one and only one solution to the mathematics problem. There is only one and only one solution to the problem. Does it follow that Ahmed, Isaac, and John believe in the same solution to the problem? Yeah, how do people not see that this is obviously a fallacy? And this is just so clear. I mean, we've been making these arguments for so many years, but he has put it into a formal way that is just like, I mean, come on, dude. This is obvious, right? Yeah. Up evidentialism. Yeah. So God and the theism mm -hmm. are theory laden terms. And the conceptual content for those comes from the system as a whole. So there's no, again, non-theory laden idea of what God is. The content of the terms is defined by the systems. God has no conceptual content out of that context. Con context. And to see this, all you need to do is realize that Allah is not father and son. So that's something exclusionary to who god is in the islamic system but it's fundamental to who god is in the christian system hence why we believe in the nicene creed i mean it's, it's really obvious when you think about this right and the systems are mutually exclusive right that's the 